One of the great stars of reggae, the Steel Pulse drummer Steve Grizzly Nesbitt, has died suddenly at the age of 69. He was brought up in Birmingham and was a part of the city's music scene for much of his life. Well, tributes have been paid to him by other musicians, deeply saddened by the news of his death. Keith Wilkinson reports. Steel Pulse and the legendary Steve Grizzly Nisbet playing for Central News back in 1993. The Birmingham band had just been invited to the White House to play for President Clinton. You know, it really started out in a jest, you know, where I sort of mentioned to um, our press agent in the United States about having Clinton perform on one of our albums. This is just <laughs> after seeing him on the Arsenio Hall show, and then Rolling all of a sudden, sacks, yeah. you know, the whole thing got hooked up. Clinton was already familiar with the band, and Bob's your uncle. Yeah. Steve Nisbet was originally from the Caribbean and moved with his parents to Salt Lee in Birmingham. His reputation as a musician grew quickly in the city, where he was much loved by many other stars of the Birmingham music scene. UB40 was formed in the city around the same time as Steel Pulse and today Brian Travers was devastated by the news his old friend had died. Hi, this is Brian Travers from UB40. I've just woke up in Maastricht, Holland to the terrible news that Grizzly, one of Britain's greatest ever musicians, greatest drummers, one of the guys that pioneered British reggae, he passed away in the night, was, and I was just going to tell you, he was the most beautiful guy, and it's ruined my day, and uh, I've had the rest of the guys calling me already to tell me the news, and I just want to send my condolences to Dave and all the boys in the band, and, and his family, and his mates, and, and his neighbours, because I know he's important to all of them, he's a fantastic fella, i never seen him not smiling, and uh, see you Stevie, see you Grizz. Sorry, sorry, guys. See you, Grizz. Love you, man. Handsworth, revolution, Handsworth. Steel Pulse's song Hansworth Revolution was written before the riots in Birmingham and was seen as a major landmark in reggae music. Because they were one of the first uh, British reggae bands to break through, I think they had a, a massive influence on people not only in Europe but all across America as well. We all knew that Steve was was sick, but we didn't realise it was going to, you know, didn't realise it can happen any time, and it's, it's happened, and so that, that came as a shock. But I think his legacy will live on, you know, and uh, a very strong musician, very powerful drummer, and he's done a lot of justice for Birmingham. From a ship off the coast of Central America, members of his band sent this tribute. It says here we are in Honduras and we're all devastated by the news. I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, when it comes to steel pulse, I mean, he was the pulse in the steel, in all honesty. I mean, you're going to be sadly missed, Grizzly. We love you. Um, rest in power. <laughs> 